Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucas and I like to review my favorite movies and TV shows here on YouTube. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I've been hooked on the show Yellow Jackets on Showtime. So hooked in fact that I've done a ridiculous amount of digging on the old interwebs and I've found quite a few interesting factoids that almost completely draw a line through most of the theories I mentioned in my last video. This video contains massive spoilers for upcoming parts of the series so here's your chance to back out. But for you other lore junkies, let's waste no further time getting into it. The first thing I wanted to address is this supposed supernatural edit the show takes around episode 3 or shortly thereafter. Episode 2 already gave us a small preview of some of the more creepy paranormal incidents that are happening with Thaisa's son, but according to cast interviews and some other promotional images, I'm led to believe that we're going to get a Lost type edit where some kind of paranormal creature or force is taking hold of the girls and possibly causing them to resort to cannibalism. Granted, there could be more to it than that, but again, cast interviews have led me to believe that the show takes on a drastically different feeling after the third episode, especially somewhere around the sixth episode. Another thing about the show is that it supposedly starts incorporating more genres later on, or perhaps there's already subtle groundwork laid for these genres, like moments sprinkled throughout the first two episodes that reaffirm this. But Juliette Lewis in an interview said that after the third episode, her plot with Christina Ritchie gets a lot of humor to it with their road trip and everything. This is another example of the genre bending, and I think we'll see those switches happen more frequently as the episodes progress. Tawny Cypress said in an interview that as the mysteries unfold, it becomes a different kind of show, which is a further nudge towards the supernatural edit the show gets. And in an interview with Steven Kruger, he pretty much spells it out that everything we as fans think the show is, is not what the show ends up being. This means the various trailers in the pilot episode are likely filled with misdirection, uh, and the timeline is probably not as linear as it seems to be. According to an interview with the show's creators, one of the references for the show was Rosemary's Baby, and part of the show's conception is this oscillation between genuine supernatural phenomena or people just being crazy. I'm leaning more towards the latter in this case, but I'm interested to know your thoughts, so let me know in the comments down below where you think this series is headed based on this information. Here are some behind the scenes photos of the characters in their various animal skins and winter gear. Who do you all think is behind those masks? It's clear to me that Shauna is the rabbit. I mean, those eyes are unmistakable and the rabbit symbolism is too strong with adult Shauna for it not to be a thing. I just noticed that the antler queen actually has strands of hair pinned to her cloak. It's strange. It looks like Lottie's hair as well. I do believe the one in the back next to Shauna is Travis based on another image you can see here and I would wager then that that's Javi next to him. This is a better look at the rabbit, aka Shauna. Each of the characters kind of dons some kind of animal skin, and I wonder if there's a larger symbolism behind that, considering Shauna's connection to the rabbit so far in both episodes. And that's all for now. Thank you to everyone who tuned into my last video, and for watching this, I super appreciate you. Uh, just know any engagement at this time it helps, because I'm new to this and I'm just trying to get my bearings. Uh, feel free to reach out on Twitter or suggest any shows in the comments here if you like my reviewing style and you'd like to see more than just Yellow Jackets content. I do have videos on Fear the Walking Dead and The World Beyond coming soon, but like I said, I'm new, so editing can take me a little longer than most. Thanks for watching, and as always, good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are.